all right what's going on welcome back to the channel all right got a quick fsd beta video for you guys here today and uh, we are officially here in santa mode since it's december and uh that's why you hear every time the indicator goes off the jingle bells go in and take a look at the sleigh that they gave santa it's an actually it's actually a tesla um, and notice how all the cars around me turn into reindeer. First of all, what is FSD doing? Almost went into that barrier right there. And, uh, here we go. We're going to be making a, uh, 10 minute drive here going up to the grocery store. I just want to see how FSD is able to get us out of the mall parking lot. I just got a free charge session here at the mall. Thanks to Volta. Um, that's why I'm leaving there with 99%. For some reason, the last percent takes 35 minutes. And that's kind of odd, but... Um, quick stop at the stop sign. Uh, we're going to creep up for visibility here. It's a pretty busy intersection, actually. And we have cars coming, so... We need to wait for this person to make a left. All right, don't know if you've noticed or not yet, but I've got these really cool lights going here in the car. And these are thanks to EV Base uh, for providing them. And uh, I actually installed them recently. You can get this off of EV Base's website. It's really cool Tesla accessory to add to uh, Model 3 or Model Y. And it just goes right, there's a little little um section under the ac where you can put the led strip and it's really cool um it has a lot of different color options where right now i, I put it onto snow mode since we're in uh, santa mode and it's snowing here with fsd so it's it's a really cool addition to the car i really like it and uh, i'm gonna drop a link in the description so if you're interested in one it's pretty easy installation too. It didn't really take much other than a little bit of concentration and about 20 minutes. And uh, I got it installed myself and I'm not like an engineer or anything. So really good job with that left turn. FSD doing an amazing job. Um, we're making our way onto the highway here. We got a stop sign coming up. I'm going to take a look at how it judges when it's our turn um of course monitoring all the different cars and everything i love the way it turns the other cars into reindeer that is so cool um <laughs> i just have to kind of retrain myself to remember now when i see reindeer moving that those are other cars really nice job coming to the full stop and now I'm making a left notice how when it makes a left it's going into the far right lane since i have to make a right coming up and that's an improvement with the last update. It used to not do that, actually. So that's really cool that it's able to kind of figure that out. And uh, here we go. We're going to be making a right here on the Leesburg Pike. Let's see if FSD can handle it. It does yield a little bit here, but since we've got our own lane, I will actually nudge it through here. Even though there was no one behind me, I know that I've got my own lane, so I'm just going to go ahead and let it proceed. <laughs> Still getting used to the reindeer running fast. I think that's so cool. And it actually, it captures people as elves. So if you have a person next to you in the car, it actually shows you as an elf. And it's got Santa here in like a really cool Tesla sleigh. Like they modified a Tesla car to be a sleigh and I just think that's so funny and and the way when cars are coming up like fast you actually see the reindeer like running so okay the last one did it but it'll actually like pick up their legs and start running which is amazing that they're putting all this detail into it all right take a look at how as soon as it's got a clear way it, it changes lanes and I've got it in assertive mode so it's always going to try to find the faster lane until it needs to make a right based on like the directions 
so as long as I can, um, I've noticed assertive mode always just goes left and tries to pass people, which is kind of interesting. All in all, really good job with FSD so far since I've enabled it, haven't needed to take over. I see the legs moving now, it's so funny. I think that's a really cool add-on though, um, but they're actually dropping like a new holiday update, so stay tuned. I will be reviewing that here shortly and um, see what kind of features that that brings. So speaking of this LED light that I just installed, <clears throat> it actually comes with this app and there's a few options in there, like there's this one that's actually music controlled. So when you have your music on, like, hello, hello, see, it's moving, but it's, it's kind of sensitive. It's based on like the beat, you know? So there's a lot of cool different styles to choose from and color options that are like already ready to go. So there, there's a lot to choose from in here. So I like kind of some of these preset ones that they made, like I, I had it on snow the lightning, fire, which all of these I think are really interesting, um, which, which other one I thought was really cool. All right, we're about to start driving again. Let me put it back. I'm going to leave it on starry sky. thought that one was pretty cool too. And uh, especially with the release of the Cybertruck, you know, it's got me thinking about that long LED um, and I could have it just all white also too. That's a nice option that they have um, that gives it like a nice clean look. But I, I love the fact that you can switch it and you know change based on your mood or the type of day it is or time of day it is. Like right now, you know, I had it in the snowing mode, which I, I think that's really cool. Um, shout out to EV Base. Also, if you are going to order something from their website, make sure you use promo code Tesla DMV and you will get 15% off your order, which is really cool. So, yeah, shout out to EV Base. I will be getting lots of really cool stuff from them. I also think this one is kind of interesting the sunset, which is nice and clean. And oh, wow, just subtly changes colors. I like that. And shout out to FSD, really doing his thing here. Um, maintaining speed, you know, in between the cars, gradually coming to a stop when needed, like now. Notice how it's gonna try to get out of this lane since it's still got some time. But let's see how it gets us into the shopping center here, which is gonna be the finale. And uh, let's see if it can get me to my destination without any takeovers, which is the goal, so. Yeah, make sure you hit that like button if you've been enjoying this video and make sure you subscribe. We've got version 12 coming soon. Holiday update come in here as well. Notice how it switched lanes, but it waited for it to have a fully clear path, which I like, um, and it will not go unless it has a fully clear path. Look, it's gonna try to switch lanes here last second, which you wouldn't think with such short amount of distance that it would try to go with a red light. Um, but notice it did a great job getting over to the right lane because we do have to turn into the plaza in about a quarter mile here. So pretty much right after this light. Still no takeovers. Um, really good job with FSD. Uh, shout out to Tesla and the autopilot team. Really nice job. Um, yeah, happy holidays to everyone watching as well too. Um, it's December now, so hopefully you all can wrap up the year with good vibes and hopefully Tesla can send us our updates here soon so I can review them and, and upload them to you all as soon as possible. But definitely have had a really good experience with 11.4.8. The only feedback that I give is the wiper issue. It, it, I have that issue pretty much daily. Um, it's going to flick the wipers on for no reason, but the fact that it drives so well, I'm going to go ahead and take that, you know, with it. So looking forward to the new update that will fix that wiper 
issue and also hopefully <laughs> remove the steering wheel mag. We'll see about that one. But that will be really cool if we can get rid of that steering wheel mag as well too. Notice how it's already finding the path. Ooh, did a great job about switching lanes there. No indicator for some reason. Um, but we need to turn into the shopping center here and uh, let's see if FSD can handle this. All right, so I can tell it already knows the path to take, which is right here. And I'm glad it knows to go in from here and not cut all the way around and waste extra energy. All right, so we just wanna go straight up and Giant is on our right here. So it did bring me to my destination exactly how I asked it to. And uh, shout out to FSD for that. See how it says 25 feet ending navigation so yeah did a really good job here make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video we're gonna see if we can end it on a quick auto park so when you see that p hit it shift to reverse and just hit start uh oh so we're actually gonna cancel that since we've got someone backing up right behind me normally i would have let it go but it would have caused a issue so i just kind of made life easy and just moved up forward make sure you subscribe because i have a bunch of auto park videos i will be bringing you thanks again for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day